Hi everyone, this is Olivia with Crafting with Ollie, and uh, back again. Uh, I'm going to be making a little lantern uh, using the, the Hot Wheels tracks and the square frame. Now this square, square frame, let me just measure it for you so you can see how big it is. It's 8 by 8 Okay, and I got this frame at the Dollar Tree just like I did the the tracks and uh, on this frame I'm going to be putting little feet uh, beads on it as feet I'm going to be using these uh, these little round dowel beads the dowels fit right through there I'm not sure exactly what size they are uh, but that's what I'm going to be using as a feet to get started with this, I'm just going to add some wood glue to the bottom of the bead. And for added support, I'm going to add some hot glue also. I appreciate all of the new subscribers I've been getting. I just want to take my time right now to thank, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate if you would do that now. All you got to do is hit the word subscribe and the little bell next to it. I'm a newcomer to the YouTube channel, so I'm not really that into the video video recording of it. Actually, in making the videos, I know somebody told me I needed to speed up this part where I repeat, but I don't have access to a good video editor yet, so my video editor does not do the speeding up, so I'm sorry if this is... All you gotta do is just speed it up yourself so you don't wanna have to see this part. Hopefully you can do that on your own. But it doesn't take very long to do this little process here. Just glue some hot glue and wood glue onto the bottom of these beads. And there you have it. I put the whole thing together and then I will spray paint it. And you can see the little round feet in the bottom. Okay, the next step. So I'm going to take these tracks and I'm going to uh, place them inside in the corners of these of this uh, frame and to do that you just got to put some glue on the corner the four corners of the tracks you do the glue on the other side That way I can glue both of them at the same time. Right. Now I'm going to do the, the other one. I fold it and do a diagonal over on top of that. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to add some glue on the corners. On the four corner, four edges of the corners here. There we go. 
just make sure they're touching the bottom just to reinforce it I'm going to add a little bit of extra glue with a glue gun here on the edges just for more reinforcement trying to get the angle in there Just get all this glue strings out. And don't forget to also glue the the two tracks up here at the top. Just pull down the one on top and add some glue. hold the tracks together so they don't it doesn't slide back and forth I should keep it in place right there I'm just pressing it together so it can hold it until the glue dries this lantern has become very popular and uh, I'm just redoing this one just to make it uh, into a different theme since Halloween is coming up pretty soon I'm going to be decorating it with Halloween uh, items all right now for the top top here uh, little handle I'm gonna be using this this little uh, lid here I got it from a oatmeal granola oatmeal and uh, I'm going to glue it here at the top. It's going to sit right up there. Okay, so I need to place glue on all the sections here because I'm seeing if it sits on it, then I'm going to put some glue on it. So it'll stay there. Okay, I think I need to put glue here in this area it doesn't touch this one here so I'm going to put glue only on this one over here I'm only putting glue where it does touch actually touch the track I'm just Wait until the okay. The last thing I'm going to do is uh, put this little uh, ping pong ball. I bought this ping pong ball also at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put glue right in the center at the top of this and just place the ball on top. Hope that centered. As center as it's gonna get, it's fine. Remember, everything in crafting is not perfect. I mean, if you want it perfect, you will go buy it from the store, right? So, not everything is gonna be perfect when you handcraft your own things. Just remember that. Okay, I'll be back, and I'm going to spray paint this black. Like I said, this is going to be for Halloween, and then I'll show you how I'm going to decorate it. Okay, here it is, spray painted black, and let me show you just what I used, and it's a uh, Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum is really good for painting uh, stuff like this, and it is, it says down here, bonds to plastic. So that's why, since the tracks are plastic, that's why I used that, and I used the flat black. I didn't want it to look too shiny. Alright, now all I'm going to do now is just decorate the inside of this. I already went ahead and got this candle. Um, it's 
it's an old candle I had and it kind of like melted that's why you see it all bent in this area here somehow it, it melted inside my my shack but it's okay it's it's supposed to look like this because it's Halloween and you know how everything's supposed to look like spooky looking so I think it gives it a good effect and to do that all you do is just get a napkin and uh, you place it around the candle and with the iron you just iron it on and it sticks to it. it on this one I drew a face on it I want it to look like a ghost on that candle so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the eyes and the mouth that I just drew I want the eyes and the mouth to stand out when you turn on the candle. That's why I'm, I'm doing it the, the reverse. Because usually it's the other way around where the eyes are black and uh, the rest of it is, is uh, white. I hope it gets the effect that I'm looking for. If not, it'll be okay. It's a, just give it a try here, see if it works. Okay, those are the eyes, and let me do the mouth. Okay, there's the mouth I already cut out. Now I'm going to separate the, the napkin. It's It comes in two ply. I'm going to place it on the candle and if you've seen this done um, some people use wax paper uh, other still they do it right on it like that I like to use wax paper I don't want to mess up with a the iron so all you do is just rub the the iron on and it'll melt the waxy part of the of the candle this is a battery operated candle but it still has that waxy uh, finish on it so the the wax will melt and uh, the napkin will adhere to that when it Dry, when it uh when the wax cools down it it'll blend back in with a napkin on it so all you do is just rub the iron all over and you can see the the wax melting as you do this And I hope this candle works. I bought it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, so let's see if it if it does give me the good effect that I'm looking for when I turn it on. What I want to happen is the eyes will glow and the mouth when you turn on the candle. That's the effect that I'm looking for. Let's see how much I still got.
Okay, I'm done heating up the wax and melting it to the napkin. Now I'm just gonna peel it, peel the the wax paper off. Just pulling it off slowly. And there you have it. You can, you see some of the wax came off onto the other side. You can just scrap it, scratch that off, or you can just leave it. It's okay. And now I'm just going to cut, trim off the the extra that's left over up here. And then fold in. I didn't exactly go straight, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll just trim this off down here at the bottom. And this, I can just go real quick with the iron and it'll melt into it on the inside, flatten it out. Okay, that's the same effect I did with this purple one. And uh, let's see, I already turned it on, but I don't know with the lights on right now, you'll be able to see this is what the purple one looks like. And with the lights off, you will be able to see the one. Okay, this is what the candle looks like. Uh, I turned off the light so you can see the effect. Uh, you can see the mouth and the eyes glowing at you. That's the effect I wanted to get when uh, I did that. Okay, now I'm going to uh, decorate a little bit more on, on this. Okay, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding these branches and uh, I got these at the Dollar Tree. Each little bundle, of course, as you know, costs about a dollar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look like like a tree trunk here and the branches are like going over like this. So I'm just gonna hot glue this down right here. I'm gonna add some glue in this little area. I want it to look like it's a tree growing in there. do is just cut with a wire cutter and then stick this in here got some glue strings on here and then just glue it on try to figure out which direction I want it to go just to make it look like a tree trunk is growing through there Add some glue here. Okay, so I snipped another uh, branch off and I'm just going to add it here. I'll just drop some glue down there so I can put that on here.
just holding it here until the glue dries so it, I know it'll, it's going to stay there. And I'll drop some glue down there so that it'll stick to it down there. Snip another branch off, add it to this side. Pretty much do the same thing. I'm going to drop some glue down there so I can stick that in there and put some glue right here. Once it holds, you can let go. Up at the top, um, I was thinking of putting this little spider up here. I'm going to put it around this area. Like it's crawling up the topper there. I think it will sit in about this area. So let me go ahead and put some glue on the spider here. And I know it's a little early for, for Halloween, but if you start seeing some Halloween stuff already put out, you can just start grabbing it and start decorating because by the time October hits comes around, you won't have anything. Everything is taken. This is something I had from last year, this little spider. I think it looks pretty cool up there, climbing up, climbing up the, to the topper. Okay, I'm going to use this floral foam uh, to raise the candles up a little bit higher because they are too low. And I need to cut this. Cut it about an inch, an inch off. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm raising it up so that I could put the candles on it. So that when I stick the flowers in front, they won't hide. It won't hide the the candles in the background. So this is what I'm. The effect I want to have. I can't see what I'm doing. So what I need to do is cover up that block with a, with some foam, with a moss, so you don't see it. I'm not gonna, maybe I don't need to put the the big one on the big pillar candle on the, on this. It's too high. And I'll just cut it in half, kind of, so I can only put the little one on top of it. And cover it with some more Spanish moss. Just to cover up the foam, the foam block, so you don't see it.
I want both the red and the purple flower to show. So I'm gonna pop it in there like that. Just trying different ways to to put it in there, see which way it looks better. Okay, here's my final product uh, with the candles and uh, decorations I added. Went ahead and added some uh, a little bat over here, like on the twisty, and you can see a little spider there crawling up the branch. Well, I hope you like my craft, and if you can give it a try, I hope you like. Okay, this is it with the light on, and I uh, hope you like my craft for today, guys. Hope you can try it too, and uh, it'll be perfect for Halloween. Thank you. Happy crafting. Bye. All right, uh, for the last touch of this, I'm going to be adding this... Uh, white frost deco or uh, metallic luster and uh, what this does is just kind of give it like a antiquish looking like an, like it's rusting I didn't want it to have just all black so all I do is just, I just grab some on my finger and I just rub it on like this blow off some of that extra stuff that's I like to use my finger for this. You can use a, a different kind of a brush, but I like to use my finger. Okay, I hope y'all got the idea how to do this and uh, this is my the last touch. I also wanted to show you here on the these flowers. I got them at the Dollar Tree and I just spray painted them black and they have this little uh, like a spooky glow to it and they twinkle. No. So you can see how they twinkle and they glow. And it gives it a little spooky effect also because they're painted, spray painted black. They were white and they come in a pack of two at the Dollar Tree. I'm, uh, I think you all have seen them there at the Dollar Tree. And there you have my final effect of my lantern. I hope you all like my idea here. And uh, just adding a little bit in here of this luster to make it look more antiquish looking. Okay. I'm just adding some also on the tips of the branches so you, they can stand out. Everything black just kind of like blends in. So this l white luster kind of like just brings out the shine on it when you add it on. And the branches kind of have like a glitter to it already, so but this white luster just brings out the the, the effect of it more. I'm just going to keep adding some more of this and I'll be done with my decoration here. Thank you for being here with me today.
Thanks again. Bye. Happy crafting.